Hi, thanks for joining us again. I'm Meredith Drazy with Physician Relations at Reston, hanging out with my friend Shannon again today. We're continuing our series on OB and labor and delivery at Reston, talking about how no pregnancy is perfect and there's all sorts of different things that kind of fall into the labor and delivery category. Um, so what we wanted to chat about today was all the different people you can come into contact with when you think about having a baby or get pregnant and plan on having a baby. Um, there's all sorts of people and resources that you can reach out to. So uh, a lot of people obviously will think and they need to find an OB. Um, some women look and want to find uh, a midwife or maybe a doula, whatever even is a doula. <laughs> so we just wanted to break down a little bit of that for you today. Um, so Shannon, why don't you, if you can just kind of generally explain um, what, is a, what is a midwife, right? And, and do we have midwives here at Reston? We do. So uh, we have certified nurse midwives uh, that have privileges here at Reston Hospital. Um, they, we have a couple practices that um, have midwives on their staff that can deliver here. And um, what they are are registered nurses um, with um, a exceptional training in midwifery care and um, certification, um, you know, extensive amounts of education regarding um, midwifery care. So we, we do have them. Um, they partner with OB practices, like I said, um, and they have privileges here, and we're really okay. excited about that. Good, good. Um, it's always nice to know that when you mention that, you know, certified nurse midwife, that these midwives are, they have that nursing background. So, yeah. you know, they've got that um, sensitive <laughs> kind of touch that you're looking for right. um, when you're losing your mind and you're pregnant. Yeah, they have spent a lot of time at the bedside um, with patients um, prior to going through that midwifery program. Good. Um, all right, so then if we got that straight, so then what is a doula? And, and do we have doulas here also? So we allow doulas here, we welcome okay. them. Um, and they are, um, there's many different practices out there that have, um, that are all you know, doulas and um, there's no licensing agency for doulas, but there are certifications that okay. um, sort of vary in terms of um, doulas. And um, it's really up to, up to you on whether or not you want to incorporate a doula into your um, pregnancy, uh, labor delivery, and then a lot of doulas offer um, postpartum um, care packages as well, like a postpartum doula. Um, they are not a medical um, professional, so they don't deliver the baby or do any sort of medical um, interventions of any kind. They really are a really, really good at providing um, emotional, physical information uh, support um, throughout your pregnancy, labor, delivery, and then beyond if that's your if that's your choice. Good. It's like a coach. Yeah. Or a resource person. Yeah, a resource person. And um, yeah. often they'll be here when you're going through labor and delivery and um, help to provide you with um, information about changing positions or uh, relaxation methods or breathing techniques. So they're really, really good at being that um, additional support. Good. Um, that's good to know and, and super helpful. And I know it can be kind of overwhelming if you're planning on getting pregnant or once you do and you're, you're trying to figure out which road to go down. Um, and there's different places you can have a baby and there's all these different people that you can recruit <laughs> to help you along the process. <laughs> it's overwhelming. Um, but I, I think the important thing to remember is that, um, I, I guess just that you have these options and yeah. that you would say, I mean, when you're trying to make that decision and figuring out where you're gonna deliver and who you're gonna involve, what would you say is the best advice for that as you're trying to navigate all that? Yeah, I, it is very, very overwhelming. Um, and there are so many choices that you have uh, with, with your providers for you, and then of course your providers for the baby as well. But a couple takeaways that I just wanna mention about Reston is that we are here for um, the, the entire process, whether that looks like a, um, a low risk, low intervention delivery, or a high um, risk uh, pregnancy and delivery, and maybe high intervention. Uh, we have um, lots of different providers that can can do the entire um, the entire process for you. Um, so I think it's really really important to educate yourself on um, what type of provider you're you're thinking of um, in terms of like what their birth philosophies are. So ask questions about that when you're going to meet them. I would encourage you to meet a couple different ones, a couple different OBs, a couple different midwives, and even doulas if that's your if that's in your plan. I think it's really important to um, see who you get a good feel for and whose philosophies line up with yours and um, 
how they're going to support you through this process. But from the rest and hospital side, we support the entire process, whatever that looks like for you. That's great. Yeah, we welcome everyone. <laughs> yes. Um, and it can be every, like you said, everything from low intervention. I, you know, I don't want any meds. I don't want this. I have my birth plan. I want to have these people to. You know, I have a very high risk pregnancy and I'm gonna require a lot of assistance and a lot of care and a lot of extra TLC um, and a lot of that post-op as well uh, with complications and that we can handle um, all that. So good to know that we have all those options. Yeah, and, and to your point with being high risk, we have uh, the antepartum unit that, that is recently opened and then of course we have our uh, level three NICU that we've partnered with Children's National Medical Center on. So we have those um, you know, those specialties as well that we can care for, we can care for everyone here. Good, yep, it's good to know. Well, next time we're gonna be chatting more about, um, so there's midwives and doulas and OBs, but there's actually more people that can be involved <laughs> in your labor and delivery process. Um, and that's something called an OB hospitalist, um, or people who are here in the hospital 24 seven as OB providers. Um, so we're gonna be chatting about that next time, so stay tuned. Um, you can al always visit nopregnancyisperfect.com if you want some real life answers to some questions that everyone's too afraid or embarrassed to ask. Um, and as always, if you want any more information about the women's services at Reston or labor and delivery, please reach out to Shannon. She's such a great resource. Um, you can go to restonhospital.com and just search for Shannon's name, Shannon Longendike, and you'll find all sorts of resources and information and her phone number and email. Um, leave comments below. Just please reach out. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. See you next time. Thanks, guys.